What's up my baddie babes? It's your girl Brenna S and I am back with you with another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to be a baddie on a budget, okay? Ain't nothing wrong being a little baddie on a budget. I mean, whoever told you it is, then they need to be gone in your life, period. But yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get right into the video. <laughs> some makeup on i bet y'all was like when is she ever gonna put on some makeup we're talking about being a baddie on a budget so you know i have to put makeup on for this subject duh okay guys so i just have my notes right here because i need to stay on track because i know i tend to go off subject so it's just good to have some notes so i can like stay on track you know so yeah i'm just gonna be reading off this list and yeah let's get right into it okay so starting off with skincare we all know about the very popular skincare brand at least you should know if you don't it's okay and it's the ordinary skincare y'all the ordinary is so bomb like i've been using them for about a year and actually i've been using their toner for about i want to say two to three years just recently purchased their like serums and everything and y'all their serums are amazing like they literally have changed my skin so if you haven't heard about the ordinary they're very affordable skincare line they're like high quality skincare for cheap skincare is not really a one size fit all you really have to find what works for you and you can get the ordinary from your ulta store and sephora i think you can get it at sephora but i do know you can get it at ulta so just so y'all know skin nutrients brand is amazing so yeah that's another good affordable skincare line that is actually very very cheap moving on to body care another favorite topic of mine of course is key Keeping your skin looking good and yes I have a shirt on I don't know if y'all was wondering but yes I have a shirt <laughs> you know it's summer we're trying to be hot girl feel me like we're trying to be our baddest and we want our skin glowing and you know looking good for the cheap so of course I got y'all on that I feel like when we talk about body care I feel like we talk about like you know your dove and all those different type of soaps and everything and I know like five dollar or five six dollars soap is not that expensive to some people but you have to think about other people that might think like uh oh, five dollars for a body wash <laughs> i don't know i really don't know and that's fine like that's totally fine because there are many other soaps out here that are very affordable and which is the suave body washes i actually love suave body washes actually they smell so good and they're very very cheap they say fragrance is as good as bath and body works but girl i don't know about that like okay now you're chasing clout <laughs> that's what we're not gonna do but they do smell nice don't get me wrong like this one the coffee and coconut body wash from suave y'all this smells so good mm, it smells so good this smells straight up coffee like you literally just like poured coffee all over you like i don't get any coconut at all i get straight coffee every time i smell this i think it was like a dollar or two like it's not that expensive and you get a pretty good size if you know how to use your body wash as well this can really go for like a good month literally it washes last so long because i don't try to use too much of it it's a good size on a like a exfoliating glove and you're good of course dove is also nice i know people are like mm, when it comes to dove because it can be kind of to me it's affordable i mean it's like five dollars and you get like a big like a good ounce of body wash but i know for some people that can be kind of like expensive so if you're trying to be like a little baddie on a budget get you suave girl like they come in many different scents this is what you can use for your body wash to smell amazing so for exfoliating i like to use a homemade sugar scrub i love this scrub so much i know people are very familiar with the tree hut scrubs and those are amazing as well but i just ever since i've been making my own sugar scrub um, i just can't really go out and buy store-bought anymore like i really just like to make my own like if i have all the ingredients i can just make it myself you know no shade the tree hut the tree hut is amazing i love it i just haven't been using them for a while since i've been using my my own because i use olive oil coconut oil vitamin e oil and shea butter and of course sugar and i just mix it all up and i just put it in this like my old sugar scrub jar and yeah like i just been making my own ever since and this is the consistency 
is really nice and nourishing. I would like touch it, but you know, it's kind of greasy and I don't want to be having greasy hands. <laughs> like I know some people probably don't want like a very oily type of scrub. I like to be feeling like nourished in the shower. Like I want to be feeling, I just want to be feeling good. So I really don't mind feeling like that greasiness because I honestly love to be feeling nourished. That's why I love to also use my own sugar scrub. I know some people are like, oh, I don't have a time to make my own sugar scrub. That's totally fine. You can also use an exfoliating glove. I actually have mine, but I just, I just it's in my bathroom. I don't want to go get it because it's in my bathroom. <laughs> but yeah, like you can use exfoliating glove and they're only a dollar at Dollar Tree. They only come with one. So if you want to have like two for both hands, then you have to buy two, which is like $2. But that's not bad. I mean... They're very good and affordable. For lotion, you can also go to your nearest Dollar Tree as well and pick up this lotion right here. Y'all, this lotion, this lotion is so moisturizing. Like, oh my gosh, like it's only a dollar. Oh my gosh, it's so moisturizing, y'all. Like, it's only a dollar and as you can see, it's for dry skin. So if you have dry skin, this is, will nourish you so much. Literally, I just love it. I don't know. I wish I had like a very big bottle of this. And it's pretty much like a plain lotion, so it's not really scented. It has some scent, but it's not like perfumey, you know what I mean? Like it's just regular like lotion. If you're looking for a good moisturizing lotion for cheap, girl, this one right here, it will do just fine. Especially when you get the shower and your skin's like kind of damp. This is a good lotion to put on you right out the shower. That's pretty much it for the body care. We're going to move on to beauty. So beauty, that follows under like your hair, your nails, you know, makeup, stuff like that. So we all know about our synthetic wigs right you can purchase so many good synthetic wigs online or in any beauty supply store as well but i noticed i come to find that you can save so much money if you purchase your wigs online let's say you see like a synthetic wig at your beauty supply store for like 50 dollars, right but if you look up that same wig online it's more likely going to be like 10 if not 20 dollars cheaper online i know we all want to like get something like quick and like just grab it and go right but Sometimes we have to take, you know, some little sacrifices and just wait and just order online, wait a few, a few days, if not a week, and girl, you save some money, period. Like, I mean, we have to take drastic measures sometimes. Like, I know we all want to, like, grab, so, like, if it's right there, grab it, you know? But I'm telling you, being on a bed in the budget, we have to take some sacrifices, so it is what it is. So your good like wig websites will be Ebony Line, Wig Types, and Sam's Beauty. I love that site as well. Most of my wigs I purchase pretty much is on Sam's Beauty. But of course your Wig Types, your Ebony Line, those are also good wig websites as well. Also, if your synthetic wigs start to go bad, what I like to do is just cut it. This is actually one of the wigs that I cut. This is actually the... I forgot the wig. I have to put it on the screen or something. But I just cut it into a cute little bob. Like, look. Like, I could have just went out and got a bob, but I was like, no, I can just turn my old, like, raggedy wigs into a cute little bob and reuse the wig. See? Like, we're trying to be a bad on a budget. Okay. Pretty much it for the hair category, but now moving on to nails. So, we all, of course, want those bomb acrylics that we see on Instagram. You know, just acrylics in general, right? But, you know, we all know how expensive acrylics can be. Acrylics can run up to, like, 60 to not... $200 like you know they can be very expensive it also depends like what you're getting of course like with length and you know are you, are you getting jewels or you know stuff like that also plays a role we just know how expensive nails can be girl let me tell you I don't know if you noticed already but order them on Etsy okay these are press-ons but girl I'm telling you they don't they don't look like press-ons like press on who like they don't look like press ons these literally look like bomb acrylics and i'm gonna show y'all what they look like do y'all not see how pretty these are and guess what they were only 35 dollars 35 dollars and this is the i think the xl length which is extra long and this is like a butterfly y'all these were my birthday nails okay but i'm still gonna wear them because i spent a good coin on these but that's the best part of press ons as well because you get to like reuse them so I, I don't know when i'm gonna reuse these actually but i know i will be because these are so pretty like i can't let these just sit here right yeah guys go to etsy and look up press on nails and you will just see so many bomb press on nails i might even put some like examples on the screen like right here like y'all you need to not walk but to run to Etsy site and just look at press-ons. I'm telling you, you will see so many bomb press-ons. Like, they don't even look like press-ons for real. Like, once you put it on your finger and you know how to, like, apply it correctly. 
I'm telling you, like, you're gonna look in so long for cheap. Like, you would not even spend a whole lot of money. At most, at 50. It depends, like, how many jewels and stuff is on there. But, y'all, this right here was only $35. Like, this would probably been, like, 70 or 100 if I was to get these as acrylics. Tell me, we're balling on a budget this summer, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but this is a lifestyle. Period. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for the nails. Of course, makeup, we can all know where we get our makeup. Makeup, you can get at your local, you know, drugstore. That's a very cheap way. Or even your beauty supply store. Beauty supply stores are very cheap as well. I get most of my makeup from beauty supply store. And girl, it's giving very much flawless. Like, you can't even tell that I have foundation. So, thank you very much. Even AliExpress, you can go on AliExpress and look up pretty much anything. AliExpress is like the one-stop shop that really like you can look up absolutely anything on aliexpress and anything will pop up hair nails like just just go on aliexpress as well aliexpress is a good site but the shipping absolutely terrible like I, they, the shipping used to be so good but now it's like a month or two if not three like oh my gosh like get it together so clothing we all know about this trendy thing now where it's like thrifting girl go thrifting you can go to your goodwill and find a bomb shirt for like four dollars thrifting is the new thing even though it's not really new i've been thrifting my whole life not my whole life <laughs> but you know what i mean like going to goodwill was something i used to be so embarrassed about until i got older and i like didn't care anymore because if you're not paying for it who will exactly i find it so funny now like people are really out here going to goodwill and i used to be freaking bullied for that yeah like go to goodwill go to any type of like thrifting store and girl you will save so much money um you can even go to your walmart like girl walmart has cute clothing as well i feel like walmart has really stepped up their game lately as well like they've been putting out some really cute clothes so that's another little place you can go ross Oh my gosh, Ross is the GOAT. I love Ross. I've been shopping there for pretty much for years. I love Ross. Like, y'all, I want to let y'all know something right now. <laughs> it may be cheap, but I don't look cheap, right? Exactly. That's why you know, like, that's how being a baddie on a budget is all about. You want to look expensive for cheap, okay? So Ross has pretty much everything. Like, you can even get some accessories, some bomb perfume, which I'm also going to talk about in a later video, but... You can just get so much at Ross as well. Like, Ross is so cheap. Now, I would admit, some of their clothing is, like, rainbow, where it has, like, that corny, like, stuff on it, like, queen or boss or whatever, like. I mean, it's not corny, but it's just, like, girl, I don't, I don't want to walk around with stuff like that, like, flawless and stuff, like. Girl, I already know that. I don't need a shirt to walk around with it, like, I don't know. I mean, yeah, Ross is good. I mean, you can find a lot of good, cute things at Ross. That's another cute store. Burlington as well. Burlington's a nice little store. Of course, you like your Shin as well. Shin is very cheap, but I don't personally shop at Shin because I heard there's a lot of stuff going on with Shin. Like, they're taking your information and your credit card, and I'm like, uh-uh, no ma'am. So I don't shop at Shin anymore for that reason. So yeah, that's pretty much it for clothing. So perfume, I was talking about perfume. Perfume, I feel like that can, you can literally find perfume anywhere. You can find it at Walmart, you can find it just pretty much anywhere. I mean, I get my perfume from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. This is one of the examples of my perfumes I got from Marshalls. Y'all, this one smells so good, like... Mmm, it smells so good. I'm trying to get the notes for y'all because they don't have any notes on the bottle. I can't even lie to y'all. I'm not really good when it comes to notes. <laughs> but it's just a very sweet scent, but it's not like sugary sweet. I don't know. It's really hard to like describe it. But if you know Fancy by Jessica Simpson, then you should know what I'm talking about. And it's only for $7. I actually have a video on this on my How to Make Fragrant Mints Last All Day video that I might put up here on the screen. But yeah, y'all, this smells so good. Mm, like literally you would smell like a baddie walking around with this literally like this is one of my signature scents so if you didn't know this is what i smell like most of the time but yeah perfumes you can pretty much find anywhere for like very cheap of course your bath and body works they just have bomb perfumes as well but i feel like you only get to get it when they're on sale like i wouldn't never buy their perfumes it was like regular price like 13 dollars Girl, $13 is two perfumes at Marshall's. Like, what? No. <laughs> That's pretty much it for perfume. Well, I keep saying perfume. They're not really perfume. They're mist. But I call them perfume. So, yeah. So hygiene. That's pretty, like, self-explanatory. So you have your, like, deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste, 
mouthwash you can pretty much get that at dollar tree i mean your dollar tree your dollar generals your, do your family dollar those like cheap places like that you can pretty much get anything from i mean anything dealing with hygiene there so like i know toothbrushes are like a dollar like you know, <laughs> girl you cannot go broke with a dollar so literally hygiene is so cheap like you can just get that at dollar tree like that's where i get mine you can literally get like girl five two two brushes and two pays for like ten dollars like you know you can really just go ham on your hygiene at dollar tree and save so much of course you can get at your walmart as well but i just i don't know i, I really love shopping at dollar tree but like, call me broke all you want i don't care i love dollar tree if i was get rich i will be still shopping at dollar tree that's believe I'll this be is your man yes look at the screen <laughs> that's mine and, and, I, and, that's, and, that's, and that's what you're going to settle for. I'm going to stick beside him. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it of this video. You can literally be a baddie on a budget and look good and smell good on a budget. Okay, don't, don't let anybody tell you you're broke because you trying to save money. Like, girl, why do you think the rich have so much money? The rich have money because they know how to save their money. Okay? so let that be you this is a safe place so i'm here to help all of my baddies be the baddies that they are so yeah guys i'm so glad y'all watched this video if you watched all the way to the end you're a real baddie don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time i upload a new video and if you're new to my channel welcome babe this is where all the baddies hang out so i want you to be one of them as well period so yeah, I'm so glad y'all watched this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.